Hope you are doing fantastic. Here today, let's understand what is happening between the airlines and the 5G network and why this issue is happening. Who can resolve it? Is it uh, the airlines or is it the network companies? Correct. To understand the issue, I'll start with a small example. What is this? Uh, this is your car radio. Correct. Do you see this? 95.2 megahertz. Now, when you tune into a channel, for example, 95.2 megahertz, you can listen whatever is played at the FM station. Correct. Now, if you tune into 95.1 megahertz also, still you can listen the song on 95.2, but what would be the problem is, it will not be very clear. Now, if you see 95.1 megahertz and 95.2 megahertz are at a distance of 10,000 hertz, but still you can listen the song on 95.1 megahertz, what is played on 95.2 megahertz. Correct. That means they are overlapping. Let's see, let's understand why this overlap happens. For example, if this is an antenna at the FM station, correct. Now it has a main lobe which plays its song on 95.2 megahertz. But do you see the side lobes? So this song is also transmitted on frequencies very close to it. And your antenna, your antenna in the car also receives the song on 95.1 or 95.3 also. Correct. So that means any two frequencies, if they are close, they are going to interact with each other. So there are going, there is going to be some radio interference. Correct. Now let's understand the problem with 5G and our aircraft. Our aircraft has one instrument called radio altimeter. So what radio altimeter does is, see, it will say it has an antenna at the bottom of the aircraft. While coming to land, radio altimeter you use just below 200 feet or when you want to land the aircraft. Now it will send a wave to the ground. That wave will bounce off from the ground and the time taken for the wave to travel is calculated. And that time is converted into distance because light travels at speed of 3 into 10 power of 8 meters per second. So and it is shown in the radio altimeter here, correct? So it is shown in radio altimeter like this. Now what hap what's happening is, see, the radio altimeter works on a frequency of 4.2 gigahertz. 5G networks works on a frequency of 3.9 gigahertz. Correct. So this is the reason due to the frequencies being so close, there arises a problem. Now what is the problem? Let me show you. Now let us see the animation how the radio altimeter works and how the 5G is disrupting our radio altimeter. Now as this aircraft moves forward, do you see uh, the wave, one wave is being reflected and the other wave is being received. Now, do you see as the aircraft approaches a area where 5G tower is present, see now suddenly the input has changed from blue to red. That means the aircraft is actually reading the data from the 5G tower, which is very much useless to the aircraft. Now, as soon as it passes the tower, now it is again normal. Now, if you see this in the aircraft, the radio altimeter at that time when it was red, it will be reading like this, correct? So it will be like lot of erroneous indications and see the red light. That means it is small functioning, correct? This is the problem or this is what is happening with the 5G networks and our aircrafts. Now, now the question is, why do these 5G towers want 3.9 gigahertz only? Because see, they wanted to increase the speed on your mobile from 4G to 5G, correct? As the frequency increases, the ability of the radio waves to transmit a lot of information increases, correct? So that's why they want higher frequencies. Now the question is why not they allocate 10 gigahertz, correct? Now if you take this as a wave, correct? As the frequency increases, attenuation, that means the loss of wave to the ground increases. So if they increase to 10 gigahertz, you will get good speeds, but the problem is the availability of the network is very limited. That means close to the tower only you will get the network elsewhere you don't get. So 10 gigahertz is not an option. Going down below 3.9 or 2 is not an option because the data transfer speeds are very less. So this networks have paid around 85 million in US dollars to buy this frequency. Now the question is why not aircrafts change their frequency? Why not increase or decrease the frequency of radio altimeters? Yes, they can do. They should do it because now it is occupied by 5G. But the problem is getting an approval, 
changing every aircraft correct instrument on every aircraft mechanically is a time taking process it will take at least 8 to 10 years so this is the problem that is going on i am also eagerly waiting what uh, is going to happen will they change the frequency band or will they speed up changing the radio altimeters on the aircraft let's wait and see hope you understood everything